Hey everyone, it's Morgan Yates. Over the summer, you guys saw me redo my room at my parents' house in North Carolina, and today, just in time for the new year, I thought I would revamp my space in Los Angeles. Today, I'm doing a 48-hour room makeover of my bedroom here, so let's go ahead and get started. I love this room. I think it's so cozy. However, the only thing I'm not loving about this room is I just think it's a little too pink and a little too, like, girl bossy. It's just not my personality. I don't know. I still think it's, like, really pretty to look at, and I like it. Don't get me wrong, but that'd be fun to make a few very simple changes to bring a completely different vibe into this room. So that's what we're gonna be doing over the next 24 hours. Before we get started, let's take a look at the before. As you can tell, it's pretty girly. My dresser and desk are super cluttered. My cheap furniture is busted. My hanging plants are dead. And generally speaking, I just think there's too much going on in the room. So let's start with my goals for this room makeover. My first goal was to have less pink. I felt like I was living in some kind of princess room that didn't fit me anymore. So instead, I wanted to replace those tones with a more blue color scheme. My next goal was to revamp the art. Again, it was just a little more feminine than I wanted my decor to be anymore. And I also wanted to incorporate some plant-like prints to kind of bring the outside indoors because I look at palm trees out my window all day every day and I just thought that would be cute to kind of have that vibe inside as well. My third goal was to invest in new good quality furniture. So if you guys have been around since my moving vlogs like two years ago then you may remember when I moved to Los Angeles I brought like nothing with me and I bought this dresser and this nightstand off of like a furniture resale app. I honestly only picked it up from there because it was white and because someone could deliver it. However this is made of just like such cheap like I couldn't tell you how many times I've picked clothes or like gotten splinters honestly these drawers don't glide they're just like kind of here so they're always just sticking out different ways this bottom corner at some point I broke that off I don't know <laughs> just having some new furniture in here I feel like it's really just gonna elevate the whole space and lastly I wanted to have fewer things displayed on my furniture surfaces so that the room would feel more clean and less cluttered now for the action steps a few weeks prior I got started on one of my favorite parts of this makeover process which was picking out the new art I like screenshot a ton of art options that I liked and then here's my very fast like paste the images on top of my old artwork to try to like get a feel for this so this is how it's gonna be so I tried to balance out like once I had words and then once I had borders with ones that didn't and blah 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 so then for my dresser we obviously have this big print here and then I'm gonna see which of these smaller ones looks best in front of it and then whichever one I don't use somehow I'm gonna like I'm probably gonna swap out for that because a little too like rodeo drive vibes over there so a little sad to say goodbye to these gals they've kept me in a uh, great company for the past couple of years we're getting new artwork we're getting new furniture new pillows this is getting gone we're getting two nightstands maybe a new rug the day is finally here that i'm getting a new dresser i'm about to get my new furniture in store step one is take this furniture to the curb i've already emptied all of these drawers and i'm about to take this downstairs this was the biggest train wreck moving this in this thing literally weighs i don't know thousands of pounds for example like literally this rug has never even gone underneath this dresser because it's too heavy getting rid of this nightstand as well because it's also just like not good quality as much as i loved having this little glam clothing rack here i think it makes the room look like a little bit cluttered it's also just not essential it's kind of like wasted space and i think it'd be good to have another nightstand on that side of bed so i ordered two matching nightstands from west elm that also match the new dresser that's going here so let's get started really interesting situation now called I don't know if that's gonna fit through here this thing literally fits perfectly to be able to get out whoa dresser's gone nice stand's gone a lot of drawers to take out this is so gross we're now entering Operation Nightstand. I'm gonna take these out. Hopefully they're not difficult to assemble. I'll have these linked below. Let's see what we got. It's being born into the world. It comes with like an umbilical cord, apparently. <laughs> I get to cut off. Ha uh ha, -huh. I was about to say, where are the little things for it to stand on? Wow, doors that like glide. <laughs> All right, I was thinking ahead and I brought it up here before assembling these. That way it would just be easier to carry up the stairs. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on to the first nightstand. If I'd known West Elm assembly was this easy, I would have been spending copious amounts of money long ago. One down, three to go. We got a nightstand up in here. Well, I guess I can go ahead and like clear this out and then take this clothing rack downstairs and post it on like offer up to try to sell it ASAP. They both have legs, assembly complete. So spacious now. Put her on here. 
Really sad thing I just discovered. I love this lamp. I'm gonna have to get different lamps so that it matches. Also, don't fret. I have an exact frame that size to go over here. I don't know what I wanna do with this. I'm excited about both that and that. But some people are about to be here in the next like 15 minutes and they're gonna bring my dresser up here so i've just been like clearing out the hallway and everything to get up here so i'm very excited although i've gotten so used to having all of this space like when you walk into my room i love how just open it is but that's obviously i have too many things for that we all know she looks so good ah, this one's a little more narrow by the time i put photos up here i feel like that's all i want to go up here i feel like i don't want a lot of stuff like out on surfaces i want it to be super like clean and minimal rather than just like having a bunch of stuff out even if it's cute stuff I feel like it just adds to like a cluttered look if I took this down because I think I have too many like photos everywhere I kind of might like it with uh, the clothing rack here but like with only a few pieces on it so I'm gonna take this off the wall and we're gonna see um apparently <laughs> it left quite a mark I don't seem to be understanding what left those marks everywhere but I'm gonna try to magic eraser that off all right, some time has passed. This was going to be a 24 hour room makeover video. I'm increasing this to 48 because here's what happened. I discovered I had a lot of videos still to film in here and this video I knew couldn't come out because of other deadlines I had going on until now when you're seeing it. So for filming all these other videos, with my new room setup, giving it away. It just didn't work out, you know what I mean? So we got in that new furniture and things like stopped there. I'm not gonna call it a 24 hour room makeover video, so don't come for me, I'm called 48. We'll count that as a day and then today we have another day. And I'm so excited to finally switch things up in here. Since getting these nightstands, you remember my lamp. I went to Target planning to buy two lamps and I was so thrilled to discover that they had like a very similar style lamp for this. To match the other side, I just picked up the same lampshade. That way you can tie it together. I ended up switching everything into just like the top drawer of this. So it's super easy to just walk over here and then have my little like jewelry things and whatnot in here. I restructured a bunch of things in my closet. We moved all my leggings, which were in the dresser, into this little hanging like shoe rack where those prints used to be. I ended up hanging, I got this neon light off Amazon. I also showed this in my gift guide, but it just says do what you love and I just think that's cute. It's like less cheesy than this little love sign. So my thoughts now are, okay, here are my two options. It stays there alone. I need to get a little white like cord thing or this clothing rack that I moved, I haven't gotten rid of it yet and I've had it just like here. Keep in mind, if we left it there, that would be like moved up. If that were raised, it would perfectly block the cord, which would be so nice. But I don't know, I feel like it's probably better to just ditch the clothing rack. Next task though, we're doing a task I'm so excited about, which is changing this art finally. We're gonna miss her, she was wonderful. Time we say goodbye. Gonna switch out that art, gonna switch out these prints, gonna figure out the above the nightstand ones, and then need to switch out these plants. They're dead, I got new ones. <laughs> I'm worried the new prints I got aren't gonna balance as nicely, cause like this one had so much white space and so did that. Oh my gosh. It's gonna be so blue. What if I hate it? <laughs> getting nervous. <laughs> you, beach. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so blue. I'm like getting worried. Go. A quick fun fact, I ordered this from Urban Outfitters, the US site, and it arrived and with a non-US outlet. So this has been plugged into like a converter for the entire existence that I've had it. I think I'm a fan. Like we have in these prints a lot of like gold and then we also have a lot of gold like in person. I'm also ditching that little desk riser situation. We're gonna go through all of this stuff, redo this. Next up for these. Alrighty. Interesting accident happened called Morgan ordered the wrong size thinking that it was gonna fit this. So it kind of looks like a little like a uh, matte thing in the frames. So I don't know if I hate it. Also, I'm a print short. <laughs> oh no. But I do not want that thing up anymore. I hate that. Cute. I'm winging this height thing. My thoughts are it's gonna be better to hang this too low initially and then be able to move it up versus hanging it too high and having to move it down and then having a nail hole. Why should we hang it too high to start with? A show gonna be too low. Wait, no, it's perfectly even. What? <laughs> it's actually the kind of skill I have. So it does look a little bit different because this side of the bed is narrower than this side. So I moved the print like the same number of inches close to the window as on the other side. So now it looks even and it's center. Hello. Next, new lamp life. We're in, I don't know what kind of color temperature bulbs these are. It's just what came with it, so I hope I don't hate it. Okay, I need to run like an extension cord behind my bed or something to plug this in so that the cord can go behind 
because the only other outlet is like all the way out here. So don't worry, we're not leaving it like this. All right, now time to swap out this lampshade. Guys, <laughs> plot twist that I didn't see coming. You see how this very top part is what connects onto this? I didn't think that through. I didn't know there was so much variation. This part that like connects to the top sits kind of low. Therefore, we have this super tall lampshade. Lots of, I mean, obviously this isn't gonna work. This looks ridiculous. Yeah, I should have done some uh, internal research before I went out and bought this lampshade, but now I guess I get to go buy another lamp exactly like that one. <laughs> In the meantime, I'm going to bring these dead plants back to life. And I didn't know like where to get more, so I just Googled air plants and I found some on Etsy. So I have been mailed new air plants. <laughs> I don't know if these sizes are going to match perfectly. Okay. Do you want to go skinny? No, too skinny. Do you want to go tiny? No, too tiny. Okay, we've got a live plant. This one looks a little too grassy, but like I don't know what to do about it. These are the cards I was dealt. Next, these are all like bedding things to like switch out my pillow colors. Gonna go to town. Oh, these smell good. big, big mistakes. I don't remember what I was thinking with any of this. We're gonna pause the bedding right now. Things are not going according to plan because it just didn't, I took a risk and it didn't work. I got three of these little pillows with a white like velvety pillowcase. Um, and my plans for whatever reason was gonna be like, I have the gray pillows, then I have the three white ones and then I had I wanted like a lumbar pillow like the same length and this length is just impossible to find But I wanted some kind of like dark dark blue So it would be like gray white blue like spaced out kind of how before it was like gray white pink um Morgan somehow ordered the wrong thing <laughs> This is tiny and it's hilarious and it's bluer than I wanted so anyways doesn't work Also, I got this little throw that's like a nice like dark teal um, and it matches the rug and the artwork. I'm thinking what we might have to do is have like the white pillows, then the gray, and then keep this pink pillow because it looks stupid with nothing there. But for now, since I have this rug anyway, it does still match. It ties the colors in and we can keep the rug. I don't know, uh, I'm annoyed. And then for this photo grid, I got this like photo ledge. It was only available in this like dark wood color, which I don't have anywhere in my room. So I'm gonna hang it up, see if I like it. And if I'm not feeling the wood, which I feel like I might not be, then I'm just gonna paint it white. But I just think it's cool because you can slide in a bunch of different prints. <laughs> we have committed. <laughs> Are you supposed to use an anchor for this? Yes. Am I? No. Please line up. If this doesn't work, I'm gonna actually just burn my horn down. Fingers. And now I'm gonna get my prints. Here we got lots of options here. I'm gonna try to go for different sizes. Also like some bluish ones. Maybe even include this one since it's blue and pink. I don't know how to arrange this, <laughs> not look stupid. All right, here's how I arranged it. I think she looks okay. So next I'm gonna go to Target because I need to get that other lamp. But under here, this little bin has camera things in it, which I like and want to keep. I'd rather this not be see-through, I don't think, because it looks messy, but I want to organize what this looks like. I'm thinking if I, because I kind of like the wood, actually. I'm wondering if I can get like some kind of like wicker basket or something. That could be so ugly, I don't know. All right, I've begun starting to like figure out what I want this to look like. I took down the giant stack of books that were here and instead I moved the white books that were here originally up here and put the little hello sign on top. Ta da da we are back with supplies. I got this basket, I couldn't even remember. Oh, perfect, kind of. Oh, whatever. All right, this basket's smaller than I thought. What happens if I turn it sideways? Does that look stupid? Does this even match? We're now onto our finishing touches, still under 48 hours total. The audio here was somehow messed up, but basically I was saying how much I love the new art, how I needed to vacuum, and how I need to patch the nail holes in the wall from where I removed that photo grid. I'm currently debating. So this rug used to be under the desk and I took it out to vacuum. Oh, I didn't say. I put this pillow here that I just happen to already have. For the time that we keep this rug and that pillow, I thought I might as well pop this here. Also, now that this desk is gonna be more cleared out, ugh, I haven't dusted here yet. I have this dimmer that like adjusts my Christmas lights, which is really nice, but I don't want just like this random thing sticking out. I stuck it to the side over here so you really can't see it at all and that'll actually be easier to turn on and off anyway. All right, now for the grand reveal. Oh, here's what she looks like.
So going back to my original idea of this being like kind of getting rid of pink altogether, it didn't happen necessarily. However, I love that we incorporated other colors into this room so it's not like I'm walking into like a princess palace. That's like what it felt like. Sometimes I was like, God, this place is so girly. I feel like it's like softer. I just like the that there's blue in here. It feels a little like more cozy, I guess. A few things that I didn't get to in this video that I want to do, first of all, is swapping out that little Coco Chanel print thing. Mm -mm, out of here. Secondly, I need to fill in these nail holes and kind of like sand them down. And then lastly, I need to get a cord cover thing to conceal that a little bit. I guess from doing this and then from doing my one back home in North Carolina, my two biggest tips if you're wanting to just like change up the look of your room, the two things you need to mess with are artwork and pillows. You can change a whole room's color scheme by changing the pillows. I didn't do that here, but if I didn't have this rug, I could just change the pillows, change the art, and it's like a totally new place in here. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you so much for watching. Again, please subscribe if this is the first video you are seeing, and I'll see you guys in my next video.